Hey guys, Mr. Sackler here. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information about the vocab list so that even if you missed the lesson, you were able to fill this vocab list out because it's a little tricky since you don't necessarily know how to use specific types of questions that you actually haven't practiced using yet. So let's go and dive into it. So divergent questions. What did you guys learn about divergent questions? Well, ideally, the definition is a great place to start. So divergent questions are questions that are open-ended. There are multiple different ways to answer these types of questions. So a divergent question is open-ended, meaning that it is a question that usually starts with a sentence starter. So we can put usually starts with words like and can format this with a little bullet point over here. It starts with suppose, or it starts with pretend, or what might, how come. So all of these words are the starters that are explaining something along the lines of, suppose a meteor were headed towards White Plains. What might White Plains look like tomorrow? Well, maybe the meteor breaks up and we're all fine. Or maybe doom on Earth. Like, we don't know. So suppose is has the idea there's a lot of possible things that may happen tomorrow. Or how come White Plains was named White Plains? There might be a lot of reasons behind that, but it's divergent because there may be more than one possible way in which that type of question is answered. So how will you be using divergent questions? I can use this type of question to build my curiosity and sense of wonder. I will use these questions during my Wicked Problem project where I pick something in white planes and make it better. So the idea is that by asking divergent questions, open-ended questions, you'll build your sense of curiosity, your wonder, and ideally when you guys are working through problems in this class, you'll eventually find something that's worthy of getting a solution and you'll 3D print some sort of potential answer or at least you'll design a 3D model for something that can make that problem a little easier or at least you'll, you'll work on coming up with your solution so open-ended build your sense of wonder next up metacognitive questions and a metacognitive question is a question that makes you stop reflect evaluate and you can see my spelling is fantastic evaluate there we go same way when you guys misspell just use the spell check right there and um, explain. So if someone were to ask you, what did you get on the math test? And you say, well, I got an 80. Now I'm going to stop and think, well, why did I get an 80? Well, I got questions one, two, and three wrong. And why did I get those wrong? Well, I didn't know the concept behind it for one, two, and three. So I'm now looking for the details to explain how would I do better. So how do you use metacognitive questions? I can use meta cognitive questions to reflect on the past to improve the future. So the idea is that you're looking back on why you got that 80. So hopefully in the future, you're able to do better. So it's making you stop, reflect, evaluate, and then explain so in the future you can do better. If you want to give it a specific example, I highly encourage you to do that. Lastly, convergent questions. So we can explain convergent questions have a specific answer. Just like the questions you guys were asking in the Draw Mr. Monster activity, what color are the eyes? What shape is the body? There's a specific answer, and you guys are going to use convergent questions. I can use this type of question to get specific details. So no matter what type of question that you ask that's convergent, the goal is to get details. What's the answer to number three? If a teacher asks you that, they're trying to get details on what you know. If you're asking what color is the monster, you're trying to get details about the monster. If someone is asking something about what color is your shirt, they're getting either details about your eyesight, like does your eyesight work, or details about the color of the shirt. But in the end, convergent questions are all about details. 
Um, so these are the three types of questions. I'm going to let you guys do the other parts of the vocab list, but if you're absent, I wanted to make sure that you were able to answer these parts of the vocab list for these three parts. So for the divergent, convergent, and metacognitive questions.